Have you heard the latest historic benchmark in the Obama administration's promise of hope and change? We have now reached yet another milestone, a 50-year high in poverty. That's right, 50 years after liberal President Lyndon Baines Johnson launched the $20 trillion taxpayer-funded war on poverty, that liberal dream has become a nightmare. The poverty level has surged from 12.5% in 2007 to just prior to uh, Obama's Hope and Change administration to now a whopping 17.3% today. And that's using Obama's fudged funny numbers. Who knows how high the poverty rate really is? Yet Obama is still forging ahead with liberal policies that made Detroit what it is today, a poster child, a poster pinup state for poverty, poverty, and still more future poverty. Ah, all those grand liberal schemes that began in 1964, Medicaid, Head Start, and a myriad of big business, excuse me, big government anti-poverty programs that ushered in more poverty. There's an old adage that used to be uh, said when I was young, and it still rings true today in the era of bloated government. It says, there's one thing money can't buy, poverty. Well, with big government, that adage is becoming no longer true. What once was thought to be impossible is now possible. And upon us, upon the United States, big government money can and did buy poverty. Please forward a link to this video. Hopefully, together, we could wake up some of these people in our nation from their stupor and their addictions to failed big government policies. Thank you.